Hello Cadillac fans, today I have one that I've been looking for for several years, it's just that the shipping to Asia is too expensive, so now that I'm in the US, I got this one off eBay, you can even see eBay tape. Uh, it was in bubble wrap as well, and it came in a bubble mailer, but it's a used model obviously, no original packaging. Gee, looking at the photos, can you guess what it is? But look at the length of it, maybe you don't know. Anyways, it's a Cadillac 62. Uh, that series, uh, the nameplate runs from 1940 to 1964. But what we're, what we're looking at is a sixth generation that was out between 1959 to 1960. And uh, it was known for its huge tail fins, as you can see, and the dual bullet tail lights. This thing had a 6.4 liter V8, making 325 horsepower. And then it had uh, all your uh, luxury items like for the day, power brakes, power steering, got an automatic transmission, two-speed wipers. And uh, apparently for this generation, they made around 70,000 of them. Okay, so you might be wondering if you don't know what brand this is. This is M2 Machines. And they had a line of uh, these limos all hot rodded out and they were called auto stretch rods. I actually did see one, you know, for sale where I live, but they wanted like $30 for it. So, uh, you know, I never bought it. And so, <coughs> good old eBay, if you hang out long enough, you can, uh, well, pay less than that, but still pay more than the original price. Okay, so it's definitely a hot rod green, nice metallic, I like it, the flakes don't look too big to me. Mm, sorry, that light's too close right there. Before it's just a really shiny green because actually now the light's in the normal position. Maybe I'll change the angle. Uh, that seems to help. Okay, so now you have this flame paint job printed on, no decal. You get a little, I don't know if that's a shifter or a, a wand, but the flames are coming out of it. And then you got this big uh, chrome line painted on silver all the way to the back. Looks pretty cool. There's also silver here for the this fender uh, trim, but this little, uh, this one doesn't have any, which actually looks accurate to the regular pink side photo I pulled up there. The wheels there, you know, they're M2 style wheels, I guess. They're, they're actually okay, I'm okay with them. Maybe a little black paint wash would be helpful, but what I do like is these tires, the white wall is round, right? It's, it's nice, and then the treads are okay while we're at it. Hmm, let's see what the vehicle is. Cast it in, cast line. Oh yeah, it does say the vehicle, so that's nice. I can't, I don't know what this uh, serial number means, if it relates to a date or not. But here's the copyright, what does that say, 2008? I think that's 2008. Alright, so uh, this actually has everything I want to know. Who made it, when it was made, and what it is. So there must be a tab right here, somewhere in the front, uh, and then two screws in the back holding it together. Yeah, it's a, it doesn't roll much. There's got to be some friction probably in the somewhere in there. The tires, yeah, I think that tire was scraping the casting there. All right, let's try this side here. Now we have uh, well, it's like silver door handles, and they are raised. Same with the little lock mechanism. And there's a lock on both doors. Uh, it's nice that all the windows are, are open because you can see the interior and then the silver paint going around that window trim. Go to the front, nice. Clear plastic headlights, not just in the main headlights, but these two also. I don't know if these are, I assume one of these or both of them are the turn signals. Maybe one's a running light. I don't know, I've never seen a picture of one at night. Nice texture in the grill, but is there black paint? I can't tell. Actually, I do think there is black paint. It's just not enough. You see, uh, it's not touching the edge. Okay, so it's got the hood, and yeah, that, a pretty big panel gap there on the hood. Quite noticeable. Nice flames, though. Alright, let's see. Oh, it opens very really easily because this is used. Who knows how long, how many times the last guy opened it. So, yeah, see, this is a weak engine. It's so shallow. You know, it's. I'm not a fan of these engines so much. Okay, 
Wiper blades are kind of there, but not. They're like 20% there. The, the blade itself blends into the uh, window trim. So it's kind of weird looking. Oh well. Silver paint around that. Let's go around to the back. We got the big tail fins, as you mentioned. And then there's separate plastic pieces for the dual tail tail light things, or whatever these things are. Maybe these are running lights or something. Oh, that one's crooked, though. Look at that. They're both crooked. This one's really crooked, though. Yeah, no, I don't want to force it. Oh, well, the original price of this couldn't have been too much, so I can't expect uh, it to be perfect. Uh, I'm not sure if you can expect any M2 machines to be perfect. Black paint and a nice egg crate grill back here. And then you got the weird jet turbine, jet engine looking tail lights or whatever these lights are. There are some lights here. And uh, it looks like there's red sunk in there, so that's pretty cool. So maybe these perimeter lights are red, and then that middle one, according to the photographs, might be the backup light. And then I'm going to assume these might be running lights or maybe additional brake lights. Please leave a comment if you know. I like that M2 machines puts the year of the car on the license plate. So that's really helpful as well. And then we have a Tiki Cadillac thing here. All right, nice panel gaps there. Seem okay. So we got a nice uh, light. It's kind of a yellowish interior. Uh, I was gonna say tan, but no, it's actually more yellow to me. And uh, great, no flashlight needed. See, that's the beauty of no side windows. So the seats actually have a white printing or paint on them not all the way so it's kind of interesting there's a rear facing set of seats here so this thing can hold probably nine people and then uh, the steering wheel and we'll try this side here yeah it's got open air between the spokes oh and this is uh, impressive there's a little white graphic in the uh, dashboard no dials but at least they got a different color in there but it's recessed so I wasn't expecting it and then the rest of the dash has some white on it as well, so that's pretty good. This might be the best M2 interior I've seen. I don't have many M2s though, so, so that's not saying anything. Alright, well, I, I do like it. It's cool. I'm really impressed with the eight plastic headlights up here. Are these? Well, no, these are chromed and then painted red. So you can see, like this one, the, the red paint's missing. So this may have been fondled quite a bit. Yeah, this one's missing all. I think it's because this chrome plastic is so s slick that maybe the red paint chips off easily. So I'll have to repaint those at some point in time. Some transparent red or something. Alright, let me get the uh, coaster out. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I guess it will. Hmm, let's see if I can compare it to anything. Well, similar it would be this Auto World 66 Impala Lowrider. So at least it's got a crazy paint job. And then uh, another land barge would be this Auto World 1978 Lincoln Mark V. <laughs> it's way too heavy for the solar coaster. Or is it? Maybe this the weight was off. No, it's too heavy. Alright, so... Yeah, the limo is a limo. It's quite a long one. Yeah. All right, that's good enough for the comparisons there. All right, I'm very happy with this one. I mean, there's... I guess originally the only QC problem was, you know, some of those dual taillights there on the fins are crooked. But, but I'm sure it actually had red paint on them back in the day, and that's an easy fix. I've noticed some photos where some of the doors open on these things, but this one doesn't have opening doors, and I'm happy about that because look at the side view. It, it looks consistent. It looks nice. But I'm still going to try to get one of each of the castings that these guys put out. And it seems to me that they have six different uh, subjects. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to track them down at a decent price on eBay. Thanks for uh, watching today. Enjoy the next uh, video whenever it comes, which you know will probably be tomorrow. All right, bye.